What's up guys, Brian Grant of ContestChampion.com here and I've had a few requests now to show the devices that I play with and record with and all of the software that I use for editing and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to give a rundown of, of what I'm currently using. This isn't necessarily meant to be a guide for you, however, you know, feel free to copy exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to put links in the description uh, of this video and uh, all of the software is actually completely free. Um, some of the hardware you, you might have to spend a, a few bucks here and there but um, software totally free it's not a trial version of any of it it's just made to be free so uh, there you go um, as far as my main playing device I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Note 5 uh, I'm actually using a, a couple of different Android devices it's it's nothing against Apple it's just I don't know this is this is what I picked uh, I could just as easily do this with uh, Apple stuff I'm sure but Anyway, Samsung, Ga Samsung Galaxy Note 5 is what I used to play with. I don't do much recording on it. Um, mostly I would just take screenshots uh, or sometimes I do use an app called AZ Screen Recorder. Uh, and this, this does help out in a pinch when I'm, you know, I'm out away from my tablet that I do the majority of my recording on. Uh, but I want to capture something really cool uh, just to kind of add to a video. But I would never do a full video with this. Not, not saying you can't do it, it's just I prefer not to. Uh, the tablet I'm using is the NVIDIA Shield Tablet K1, and I love this thing. It's really good. It's it on, it's only 200 bucks. It's not even a sale price. That's just the price of the tablet. It has game recording software built in, which is fantastic. And you know, I'm not going to do a full review on the tablet itself. If you want that, you'll have to you know do a YouTube search or something. Um, there are videos out there, definitely, and. Um, there are some rumors going on that NVIDIA is working on a new tablet that may be out later this year, 2016, or maybe early 2017. There's nothing officially announced yet, but the rumors are pretty strong. I'm looking forward to it. I'm already saving up some money this way when it comes out. I'm probably going to get it. Um, this this tablet's great and, every, and all, but I'm hoping the new tablet will be just a little bit better. Um, because right now, this tablet, I'm only recording in 1152 by 720 resolution. Basically, I'm just hoping the new tablet can can bump that up a little bit, make the video quality a little bit better for you guys. The tablet has a built-in microphone, but uh, I I would never use it for recording a video. Actually, I I tried a little bit. It's not it's not that bad. It's a pretty decent microphone, but you're definitely going to want something else that you know doesn't pick up all the noise around you and something a little little bit more clear. Uh, the pros use a standalone microphone, but I'm not a pro yet, so uh, I'm just using a basic headset that cost me about 40 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it's a Sennheiser headset. Actually, it was less than 40 bucks, but I had to buy one of these adapters, this uh, USB OTG cable adapter thing to plug it into the tablet. Uh, and altogether, it was it was like 40 bucks. So that might be some money that you'll have to put out if if you are looking to um, you know start doing this yourself. Um, and it's it's Sennheiser which I think is a really solid brand but honestly any headset with decent reviews on Amazon will do the job just fine and if you already have a headset I'm sure it's good enough alright some of you may have noticed the drum set I'm using for the background for some of these pictures uh, I will eventually be using this drum set here to make some sweet beats for the background music uh, I'm not the best drummer in the world or anything but I've been playing for like 13 years now or something so I'm not not too terrible either um, I just have to learn how to actually record the stuff. I've never recorded any music by myself, so uh, that'll be a fun little challenge to figure out, but when I do, that'll, that'll be something pretty cool. The computer I'm using is nothing special. It cost me about 300 bucks to put together. Uh, I'm using an i3 Skylake processor. There's no graphics card. There's you know like 8 gigs of RAM, 120 gigabyte SSD. Um, that's it. It's not the fastest computer, but it's, it's good enough. And uh, I'm gonna put some of these parts on the screen. Uh, so you can check it out, but honestly, I bought this thing, I bought these parts a while ago, so I, I can't remember if this is the exact parts that I was buying. Most laptops or desktop computers made in the past few years should have no problem doing any of this, you know, basic video editing stuff that I'm doing. So if you have that, then you're already fine. You don't need to buy anything new. For my operating system, I'm not using Windows or Mac, actually. I'm, I'm using a Linux Mint, and operating system really does not matter at all. Any of these programs I listed work for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Doesn't matter. It's just Linux is free, and you know I've kind of gotten used to it over time, so I I like it. But honestly, if use whatever operating system you you are currently using, it, it's fine. I use this little program called GIMP to make the thumbnails or any other images that I need to create for the video. 
Uh, and again, this is totally free. Uh, it's a Photoshop alternative, basically. And there are plenty of uh, tutorials out there on how to use it. it. It is a little bit of a learning curve if you haven't used something like this. I mean, I'm, man, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to this one, to be honest. Um, <laughs> and I've also used this little drawing tablet that I got uh, one year for Christmas uh, to make my How Good Is Wisdom video. It's where I, I drew the, the grandma. Uh, for recording my desktop screen, I use Open Broadcaster Software, also known as OBS, and it's a really popular program in the streaming community, uh, but it works really well also just for recording your own computer screen and audio input. So uh, I don't use this a ton, um, but I do use it when I'm going through a spreadsheet and I'm clicking around in it, and actually most of this, made, <laughs> most of this video is being made with OBS. So there you go. Um, the spreadsheets themselves are not made with Excel, even though I do refer to it as Excel sometimes, just kind of out of habit. Uh, it's actually a free program called Libre Office Calculator or Calc or whatever. Um, and Excel is better if you have it, but this this will work just fine. For the actual video editing, I use a program called Blender, and honestly, it's not that easy to use. I've used Sony Vegas like twice, like five years ago or something like that just kind of messing around making something not even related to video games and uh, it, that, that program did seem a lot easier so this is something you might want to consider you might want to consider getting a, a paid software for video editing but if you're broke like me Blender is completely free and it works fine it hasn't crashed on me at all which is fantastic and um, you'll just have to kind of check out some video tutorials on YouTube before you get started really so just keep that in mind if you are going to use uh, Blender. Actually, I mean any any so any video editing software. If it's your first time, you're you're going to need some tutorials. This stuff is definitely not as easy as some of these professionals make it look. The last piece of software I use is called Handbrake, and this may or may not be needed for you, but because I record using different devices and sometimes uh, sometimes also the audio frame rates don't match up with the video frame rates for for some reason. Um, this program just kind of puts them at a, a standard frame rate, whatever you want to choose, and that's all I use it for. It does a lot of things, actually, but this is all I use it for, and I always just set them for, for 30 frames per second on all my videos. Um, I don't even know if that's the best number to go with. I, I just, I don't know, it's the number I went with. And that's it. That's everything I use. And again, I do have all of the links to the different software that I listed here. It's, it'll be in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. If you have any questions about it, you can hit me up in the comments. Although, just keep in mind, I'm, I'm pretty new to it myself. So uh, I'll do my best, but I, I may not have an answer for you guys. Um, and I'll be back with the regular game content in the next video. So until then, take care, guys, and thanks for watching.